We are the Diamond Column. I'm having lunch, I got a phone call. Some dog got just hit maybe three blocks away from my store. Boom, I get there, 30 seconds tops. I, I just couldn't believe how many people were at the site and nobody was helping. And I just opened up my back of my truck, I scooped them up, and I rushed to Benicia's. Come on, come on. My heart is beating, I can't even see with the sweat. I'm wondering, is this dog still alive? Hey! I don't give up on these things. I got a dog just got hit. <sighs> Thank God Dr. P is right there. He just got hit on 14th and 65th Street. He was out there long? Maybe uh, to 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I'm looking for something from him. I'm looking for a smile. I'm looking for James. Everything's going to be OK. I'm looking for anything to tell me this dog is going to be OK. He was breathing. He was breathing when I picked him up. And I know by his face that I'm too late. No good. And um, I can't, I don't even see the dog now. I don't see Dr. Panice. I see the people standing around the dog right now. Nobody was offering their vehicle to bring him here. But he was breathing, bro. He might have had a shot. I feel that the dog could have been saved if somebody besides, of course, me, would have, would, have, would have taken the dog up and brought it immediately to a vet. But of course, nobody does it. 20 minutes laying there, 20 f minutes, the dog could have been here. Most likely, it would have been a shot. By the time I got there, it was too late. Hey, you can't help us, on your phone. Dog died for no reason, in my eyes. That's all gone. Dogs get hit all the time. It, it, it's, it's a part of life. And, um, you know, by now, I should be totally cold to it, but I can never be cold to that. Um, that. That rips me down every time. And sometimes I don't think I can do it anymore. But you gotta just stand back up, and you gotta say, all right, forget it, and get, get, on, get on with the next rescue. At the end of the day, they all need me.